So the FDA is pushing to fully approve Pfizer's two-dose coronavirus vaccine. And according to the New York Times, that could happen as early as today. The vaccine has been distributed under emergency use authorization. Full approval expected to help put vaccine mandates on firmer legal footing. So joining us now is Dr. Sharif El Nahal. He is president and CEO of University Hospital in Newark. Dr. El Nahal, it's always nice to see you to help us kind of figure out this way forward. Uh, first of all, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, absolutely. So what would full FDA approval mean for doctors and patients? It would be huge for us, and we've been calling for this for many weeks now, as have uh, public health professionals and leaders of hospitals across the country. The Kaiser Family Foundation, which is an important uh, investigative arm on vaccine hesitancy throughout this pandemic, uh, showed that uh, up to 30% of the unvaccinated would be convinced or consider getting the vaccine when it is fully approved. And it is a major talking point that anti-vaccination groups have been spreading around on social media to discourage people from getting vaccinated. So it's a huge potential for our community and really every community to really increase vaccine confidence. Yeah, potential, and we just don't know how many people are actually going to partake. The other big headline that we've been talking about now is the third dose booster, with President Biden announcing that Americans will soon be eligible for that at the eight-month mark. That's for both Pfizer and Moderna. We've seen studies coming out of Israel. We've heard four months, six months, eight months. Talk about the, the month timing of that and what it means for Americans, and are we just going to have to get these shots forever? Well, there's now a collective realization that we definitely need a third shot. There was a study out of Israel, as you mentioned, this weekend uh, that showed a four to five times higher benefit of the vaccine against hospitalization and death when people got the third dose, especially if they were over the age of 60. And so I'm uh, pretty sure we're going to see the same results or similar results even for younger populations. It is true that the Pfizer vaccine in particular, that effectiveness wanes over time. And so uh, what I urge everyone to do is, is watch closely and follow closely and remember when you first got your uh, completed initial vaccination, because it is going to be around eight months uh, when the FDA authorizes when folks can get a third shot. And I do think it is needed to maximize the benefit of the vaccines. Dr. Elnaha, I do want to talk about these variants because they're causing a lot of concern. This uh, Lambda variant, also this B161 something or other that doesn't even have a, an official name just yet. I was speaking with an expert from the Mayo Clinic last week who in fact said that these booster shots may not be effective for these new variants. Can you talk about that? I know that the variant issue can be quite confusing. We have Lambda, uh, we have Delta, uh, and all of the associated sub-Deltas as well. And so it's important to understand uh, that vaccination does provide a benefit, as we know up to this point, for all known variants. Lambda variants uh, does not seem to be predominating the population right now, which is good news. That is, seems to be the a variant that is most resistant to vaccinations. I think the data is still up in the air about whether a third dose uh, would be particularly effective against Delta or really, really any other variant. But at this point, we know for sure that being vaccinated is a huge protection, mm -hmm. especially against hospitalization and death. And that is the recommendation I want everybody to be aware. Of. It's kind of a double-edged sword, though, doctor, because you say vaccinations are so important, but yet the Lambda variant, we don't know if that is truly going to be effective uh, because it is uh, resistant against uh, some of these vaccinations. So thank you. Um, it's, it's new territory for us all. Um, helping us you know, get through it is something that's very important on the show. So we appreciate your time. Thank you.